How much money did you make last night? Eight dollars. How much did you make last night? Nothing. Got any kids at home? Yes. How often you say no to them? Often. So she's saying no to her kid while you sleep like a baby. Why does it bother me that she didn't make money, but it doesn't bother you? We have a really, really good team that just needs structure. This is my career. I love what I do. I don't come somewhere to not be able to improve my craft. What am I here for? I see your passion. I do. I love this job. I want him to love this as much as I would love to have this. We've designed this menu to be super simple that you can turn and burn for your stress test. Ashley. Oh, yeah. Already going right for the specialty cocktail rim. Today, I actually learned a nice, beautiful cocktail, which is more than I've learned here ever. Love it. How the body shake. Now that we have no drinking, oh, we're going to be on our game. How long did that take her? Not long. Ashley is passionate, and I feel like she's eager to learn. Thank you so much. She'll probably be one of our strongest bartenders tonight. All right, let's go. Come on in. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Five almond whiskeys. Five almond whiskeys? You got it. All downstairs. They left me up here by myself. I guess I'm just that good. There you go, my dears. What's going on over here? Ashley might be the strongest bartender we have. So she's going to handle the upstairs bar all by herself while Lynette and Desiree work together downstairs in the nightclub area. There you go. What else can I get you? Four whiskeys. Four whiskeys? You got it. Bartender at the top bar. Really good customer service. So working this bar by herself. This girl gets an A+. Plus. People at the bottom bar, nothing. Thank you guys for your patience. Who's been here since we opened and hasn't gotten a drink yet? This whole half of the bar. Scott, that station wasn't set up, and this one was. You'd have bartenders on either end. You'd have a natural service bar here, and they would both work the middle. I'm going to set up right now. Yep. Manage, Scott. Come on, take control of this. Jay, I need you. You got to set up that third well. You're also going to have to give her glass wear down. Got it. Go, go, go. Now you're hustling. I like it. Now we're talking. One, two, three. Speed, race, but is she accurate? Here we go. Oh! oh, yeah! Don't you doubt me. Oh, yeah. Don't you doubt me. I am in the presence of a rock star. Ashley is accurate, fast, having a blast behind the bar. Ashley is a complete home run. Being called a rock star by John Taffer feels pretty damn good. I'm not going to lie. Stress test. Ashley, you have a skill that you need to pass on. You might be the best bartender I've ever found in a rescue. What? I'm going to take you on a road with me. I'm going to bring you to help me do a rescue. That's ah. amazing. What the actual <laughs> man? <laughs> for John to offer me to go rescue another bar, it's just a huge opportunity for me. I have worked so hard to make a name for myself as a good bartender and to feel like someone actually sees that I can do really well at my job. That means the world to me. Woohoo! Thank you. Thank you so much. So where's your brother? There he is. And there he is drinking. We drink every night? He's in the bar. He's drinking. What kind of home does he have? Well, he's currently living with my mom. So he's living with your mom and living off your dad? Yes. <laughs> Who's that? That's Nikki. And tell me about Nikki. I think Nikki's a great bartender. She works for me. She works at another bar. She's a hard worker. Ella's just so mean of you guys. And that's Angelica, our cousin. And she's worked for us for a long time. She also started bartending at 18. She's put in her dues and like to own her own bar. Eventually, she can't work here more than one day a week because she can't afford it. What do you mean? She doesn't make she enough doesn't money? She doesn't make enough money. So if this bar was more successful, she'd work there more often and we'd have a good employee? Yes. Stress test is going to go for an hour and a half tonight. There was discussion about you not being trained. I want to eliminate all excuses. So tonight, I want you to start as a bar back. When you succeed at that level, I'm going to promote you to bartender. When you succeed as bartender, I'm going to promote you to manager. I better see you be committed tonight. Fair? Fair. You told me you can do this, right? Right. OK, then do it. Here we go. Let's open. Hey, hello, everybody. Welcome to the lineup. Come on in. Hey. <laughs> Four? Okay. 
not at a time. I do four at a time. Really? Oh, yeah. Just so you know, the upstairs is open as well. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Min Collins. Min Collins? Yeah, Min Collins. Two Min Collins? Making mints. I ran out of glasses. No glasses. No, no glasses. glasses. Nick is a disaster as a bar back. Ran out of glasses. Ran out of ice. It's a complete mess. Can I get some mint Collins glasses? He is completely inept and incapable. He is incompetent. He doesn't have any hustle in him. No, he doesn't. Nick, hurry up! Are they inconveniencing you? Because it sure seems that way. Seems like the whole damn place inconveniences you. Proud of the girls. This crowd is relentless. They can drink in Wisconsin. They want rounds of four, six drinks at a time. And these girls are in it to win it. Holy. Excuse me, everybody. Everybody, okay. Move, 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 move. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Nick's finally moving around like a bar back. He's keeping the bar clean. He is putting forth an effort. Okay, Ryan, don't make any more drinks. Nick, I want you bartending. Let's see what you got. I wish I could just free pour this sucker. Do your best. Hi, how's it going up here? A little disastrous. You realize you're basically handling this entire bar by yourself. I like fast pace, I just... So do I, honey. Let's go, move, man, let's do it! with the glass. Oh. Now, how many of you know that's wrong? Raise your hand. Yeah. Why the hell don't you? So last night, we did our stress test. And uh, a little uncomfortable. Uh, it was rough. Yeah. It was really rough. It was hard. Uh, please, tell your dad how you feel. I feel like it's time for you to stop being in denial about you having given Nick the training that I had and that we have to figure out a way to make this bar work. Make it new work. Stop. <laughs> Stop. It hasn't. You've been through nine years of hell, buddy. I uh, thought quite a bit about that. Do you feel that if I build this brand new bar and pack it, that was throwing Nick to the wolves? Yeah. I feel that way also. Thinking more on it, I'd really like to get out from behind the bar. You know, it would give me some free time to possibly explore some other opportunities. As long as I have Jelka there, I think we can make it work. Does that disappoint you? No, not at all, because it's family. I know this is gonna work out the way we all think it will. The magic word of what you just said to me was what? Angelica. Oh yeah, definitely. You realize you're basically handling this entire bar by yourself. I like fast pace, I just... So do I, honey. Angelica is aggressive. Yep. Very customer oriented. I'm very. Tony, what do you think? I think we're gonna start making money. And? I got a feeling your dad gets some wrench checks out of this dude. <laughs> we got some work and training to do. Let's pull the staff together. Let's well, tell everybody what's going on. And let's make Angelica's day. OK. Thank you, Chad. So before we had you guys come here, 
We had a meeting in the family, and Nick has something he wants to say. What we were discussing was me taking a step back from the left. So we have a piece to our puzzle that we have to fill. Yes. And who is that piece? That piece would be Angelica. Angelica would be the general manager of the bar. And all of you guys would report directly to Angelica. <laughs> Someone's gonna cry. <laughs> With Angelica stepping up and Nick stepping back, Maybe this bar has a chance with a new concept. Only time will tell. <laughs> you know what these are, right? The keys. Now what you should do is give them to Angelica. You good? Yeah, I'm good. All right, go hand her those for me, okay? Okay, okay buddy. Angelica, here's me giving you keys. All right, thank you. All right. <laughs> are we need the right decision on running things. Nick feels a lot more relaxed. Not everything is on his shoulders. I'm excited for the future. Profits are literally going up in smoke. He's losing about $3,000 a month. And he's got a child at home. She's about to lose everything. And look at him. <laughs> Wait, he's looking at videos on the web. I don't see him doing a thing. Brandon? What? Are you ready for another shot? No, I'm not taking these shots. So there's Brandon. He's our senior bartender. I don't drink when I work. He's the best guy in the room. Does this work? No. How do none of these work? I don't know. There's Corey. She's our manager. The manager just said, I don't know. What are you doing? We're ignoring me. <laughs> so there's Nate. He's our server. <laughs> I want to call him MC Hammered. <laughs> it's a quality testing. Office meeting. What are they celebrating right now? First hour of the shift down. Y'all good? Y'all need anything else? <laughs> Look at that. The only one even working is Brandon. Why are you still doing the things you're doing at 26? They're stuck in college. It's a frat house. Yo, uh, uh, I'm going to head to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, gross. She, she didn't go. go. I'm just going to wait. <laughs> Is that gross? I don't know. Can you please help me finish this? <laughs> I don't really want to drink. Yeah. Milk. She hates her drinks. See that? That is disgusting. They hate their drinks. <coughs> Are you okay? I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. so bad, I had to just go into the bathroom and throw up. And the toilet doesn't flush, so it's just sitting in there. We got a bar that's so freaking disgusting, people are puking all over the damn place. All right. Down the middle. And they're sitting in the office playing games. Right, right. I want to go in go hard. They're not going to clean up the We are. Right. Let's do it. Joe, hit the bar. Yep. John, head back to the hookah area. Where's Jesse? Where's Jesse? Smoke hookah every day. Here, I'll take, I'll take some back. Okay. How you doing, sir? So I'm to dry that off. How you doing? Why don't you get rid of that? Pretty good, yeah. Oh, man, I want you to burn somebody. Yes, sir. I sent a couple of spies in here. Do you know the guy went in the bathroom and puked? Really? Yes, the puke is still in the freaking toilet because the toilet wouldn't flush. Really? His girlfriend went to the bathroom before he puked and wouldn't even go to the bathroom. Your bathroom is such a hole that a girl can't even go to the bathroom in it? Yeah, the bath uh, yeah. The bathrooms are a work in progress. And you sit in your office smoking your hookah, playing games? Yeah, it's, it's, it's on management. I tell them all the time, the bathrooms are gross. Jesse just sits in the back having office meetings, and I'm by myself out here. How are you guys? How are they going? Today, I want to see if these bartenders are actually bartenders. I didn't see them really do anything yesterday because they were busy pouring the drinks from those containers. I want to see that you guys can take a very small amount of cocktails and pour accurately and consistently. It's a little short. Management's happy with you, but you've effectively right. pissed off your customer. Training with Joe is like a wake-up call. It makes you realize how important pouring accurately is. That was really nice. You know the drill. Okay. Give me an ounce. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight on the and floor. And eight on the floor. What's next? Uh, sweet and sour. How much are you pouring? Pouring a half an ounce. Let's see. Half an ounce. Yeah. Very good. Remember that, OK? Good job, Brandon. There. Brandon is really committed to having proper technique. I was actually really surprised and happy to see that. You guys definitely know how to pour. You proved to me that you can handle it in a training scenario. You just got to do it under stress now. 
How you doing, man? How you doing? Can I get for you tonight? I'll do a Ciroc Amaretto and onion. Same thing? Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Two Amaretto and seven shots all day. Service bar is getting hammered. Brandon is busting his ass. Two, three, four. By making multiple drinks at the same time across different tickets, his times were speeding up exponentially. Yeah, yeah I need these six to go to R5. Did you look at the top of these? Did you see how long this has been sitting here and the coals are already burning out? Right. How many hookahs are we waiting for? Do we have one, two, three, four? That I don't know. Which one came in first? I don't know. I don't know. Which one goes where? I don't know. Did you guys order another hookah? No? Hmm. Where are my orders? Corey needs to be on top of things and pick up the pace a little bit because it's not looking too good. How do we do in a bar, Joe? I'm really proud of how the bar worked out tonight. This is something we can work with. Brandon did a great job tonight and really stepped up a lot. But the one thing that just infuriates me is a bar staff that shines and is being yoked because the floor can't get their together. I can't even focus on the bar. That's why the bar looks a mess, because I'm focusing on the whole place. Because you have a manager who's not managing. How did hookah go tonight, John? I went over and I tested out two hookahs at two separate tables. There's no smoke coming out of it. I mean, the whole point is hookah smoke here. The weak link was Corey. Considering the circumstances. What uh, circumstances? Uh, what are you paying her to do? A manager is supposed to come in and make things better. It, yeah. Right. And if I walked out with money sometimes, maybe I probably would make a better effort. Maybe if you made a better effort, you'd walk out with money. I so you're making excuses for, for not performing. I can only A do manager that. doesn't make excuses. I think that other people are just as bad as I am. You're full of <laughs> Jesse, should she be running your business? I don't think so. And the fact that you don't see that is amazing to me. Is this a business or a charity? This is a business. So what do you do as an owner? Corey, we love you like a friend. But at this point, it's not a spot for you here. The biggest mistake that I've ever made is being loyal to this business. This isn't loyalty. It is loyalty. Corey, I'm sorry. This place sucks. I know that I'm good at my job. I've been here for three years. Do you think I would be here for three years if I didn't know how to do my job? If I had to choose between Corey and my business, I have to go with my business. If you're the boss, you, you can't be afraid to, to show your teeth. Do you guys agree with this decision? Yeah. He needs to feel good that he's actually finally stepping up. The bar, we got some strength. We need management back there. And Brandon, it's you. I want to promote you to manager. Let's get you solid. Jesse, you back him up. You got to be out there where the customers are and where the money is. Right. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.